Welcome to Hats and Guitars. Hey, everybody. It's Kevin. It's a super scorching hot day. There's a heat wave on the East Coast and the West Coast, so most of you guys are frying. I uh, hope you're making July 4th plans uh, to see Grandma, Grandpa, Auntie, Uncle, Grandparents, Grandson, Granddaughter. Families are getting back together kind of a beautiful kind of a regular normal thing sometimes uh, normalcy and boring stuff is uh, can be really nice right anyway let me try this new it's a new telecaster I just got a company called Glary who is known for making very inexpensive instruments super inexpensive this was like $89 Maple neck, it's a chunky neck, kind of chunky, see how thick it is? But nice, generally don't like that, but I like this, I'm comfortable on it actually. Um, it's a nice guitar, and it's uh, like $89, which is, you know, like a regular Fender Telecaster, it's like, I don't know how much, 800, probably over a thousand now. So, um, this will enable, you know, a lot of people who are just not that, rich to, to play an authentic, uh, you know, American classic, the Telecaster. There were people uh, emailing me from Africa and India, Lagos, Nigeria, and Bangladesh, and all different places, Ghana, Ivory Coast, Australia, uh, Denmark, Germany, Austria, England, every place I can think of, and everybody is... Uh, you know, asking, uh, can they ship here, can they ship there? Well, not that many people. It was like four people. But uh, they do ship to uh, UK and they ship to the United States. And uh, I think there are uh, other types of Amazons you could look at, um, like uh, Amazon AWS. I think they have that. So look at Am Amazon, you yeah. know. Maybe you'll find it. Glary. It's called the GTL. We'll check it out. Let's talk about Panama hats today a little bit. I'm gonna take this green monster off me. Okay, Panamas look like this. This is called a natural colored Panama. 
they generally come in two varieties. They come in what's called natural and bleached. The bleached are like the white ones. I'm sure you've seen the white Panamas. They, they're not true white like a piece of paper, but it's close. It's like an eggshell color, white with a black band usually. Uh, for reference, for bleached Panamas, look at the movie Hannibal again. Uh, or uh, just Google, uh, what's his name? Um, the Hannibal guy. Uh, Sir uh, Sir Anthony Hopkins. Google him, uh, Anthony Hopkins in Panama, and you'll see uh, he, he's wearing one of those Borsalino uh, Tessie made bleached Panamas that I'm really nuts about. Um, now, people always ask, somebody asked me yesterday, uh, said, Kevin, look, uh, I'm interested in the classic Panama which is like a really nice classic thing. It's got all the reinforcements, like a, it's got a little sweat guard underneath the band here. Like, uh, see that? That like duck cloth. It has that. It has this, which keeps you from cracking it when you split the, when you hold it here. People get cracks there. So that's a reinforcement. They also do it here underneath to keep you from sweating through there. They put a Teflon coating on it for rain and for stains, light, you know, rains and stuff. Um, and they have a special thing in the brim, um, so if it stops snapping, it doesn't want to go down, kind of like this one. Though so there's a little thin wire in it. What you do is you go down really hard like this, and then you let go, and then it snaps again. It's called the unsnappable, or you know, it's just some kind of gimmick name they got. But the classic Panama by Kappa's Headwear has all of those features, all of them. Um, it's a great hat. It also comes in a teardrop. The teardrop version is called the Bogart Panama. Classic Panama is a center crease with like a little bubble to give you more depth, but it looks like a center crease on. You can't see the bubble. It's too hot. It's up there. So, you know, it's like that. It's a center crease with a little bubble so that this part doesn't hit you in the head if you're you know, if you're a tall guy. Gives you more depth when you got a bubble crown. It's nicer looking than, this is a homemade bubble with a steamer. Um, but it's also been pushed out of place because the person needed a little bit more depth so they pushed it up to there, you know. Or they just like to wear it lower, you know, like lower on the head so it pushed up. But anyway, um, the classic Panama is, I don't know, I forgot, 125, 135, it's in that range, and very, very reasonable for what it is. It's a classic, classic, elegant panel, just like this one. Um, he was asking me, the customer said, what about, you've got a hat called the Pissarro, which is like $80 more, but, you know, the Pissarro is on half price sale. It was like a $250 hat or something like that, or a $275 hat, I don't know, but it's on sale, you know. Um, he said, you know, is it worth spending the extra money for the more expensive Panama? It's a grade 8 straw. Grade 8 is like, you know, it's like this. It's kind of, it's finer. It's a finer straw. And when you do grade 8 bleached, it's really nice. It's, it's soft and mushy and, you know, it doesn't have that crunchy, cracking kind of thing at all. Uh, grade 8 is a nicer step up Panama. And, um... I like the bleach stuff a lot. The, the natural grade eight is not that noticeably different, but it's a finer weave. So what you're paying for when you buy a more expensive Panama is the weave gets finer. I'll show you right here. There's a picture. I'm maybe gonna upload it. Okay, here's one Panama weave. Okay, here's the other. Look at the difference in those weaves. You know, it's huge. It's a huge difference. The one over here is like, you know, four times coarser than this or something, you know. These are much, much finer than that. But, you know, out here, it's like, who really cares? Um, that's what I say, you know. If you go a little closer, you see the weave on this. If you go further back, it looks solid, almost like a piece of silk. That's what happens with finer weaves, the grade eights and the Monte Cristis and all that stuff. As you go up, you see less of this kind of... You know, that weave stuff, and it looks more smooth, kind of like like that. It's a tighter weave. It's much, much harder to weave it. It takes longer time. You have to have better eyes, more patience. Um, you need really good eyes, too. What they do is they split the straw into finer, finer, finer pieces. They start in the middle. They work their way out. 
They use a big magnifying glass, like a huge loop, and they look through there when they do it. Um, as it gets finer, there are less people who can do it. And, you know, they're experts and older people, and uh, the, the job gets harder and it gets more expensive. So, um, you know, almost anybody in the Panama factory, you know, guys who are weaving it can probably do, you know, this kind of weave. But when it gets to this, there are probably some people who can and some can't. It's finer, you know. As you get better, you're able to do those kind of weaves. It's very interesting stuff. You could see them actually weaving Panamas on YouTube, you know. Um, is it worth going up to a more expensive weave? All right, here's what you're paying for. You're paying for the smoothness, the appearance. It starts to look like a piece of silk or something, like, you know, gets a kind of a nice satiny finish to it. And this isn't even an expensive one. This is just an older version of the cheap ones, which, you know, it's maybe equivalent to a $200 hat now or something. But um, what you're really paying for is flexibility. As they get um, finer, there's less, they're less prone to crack. When you grab them, like hundreds of times, they're not gonna crack. Basically, what you're paying for is a more durable, flexible, softer hat. The hat will be easier to break in, it'll stretch nicer, um, it'll look nicer, it will be less prone to cracking, you know, when you grab it and stuff hundreds of times. Everybody says, oh, I don't grab it there. But we all kind of do every once in a while. Sometimes we do. It's one of those things like, I know I don't grab it there, but I do it every once in a while too, you know. So you know, just grab it carefully, you know. Don't squeeze it. Just, you know, do something like this. Keep it upside down, you know. Let the weight of the hat, so you don't have to actually squeeze it or just squeeze it as lightly as possible. You're barely even moving the straw at all. That's, that's kind of okay. But, you know, it's best to pick it up by the brim. What happens is you pick it up in the same place thousands and thousands of times. You start making cracks. It starts getting first like threadbare. You start seeing some like loose threads and like, you know, little shreds of straw. Then it starts getting, you know, worse and there's like a little crack and the little crack turns bigger and eventually there's a huge hole in the whole front of the hat um, and that's when people throw them out. Either that, the cracks in front, or sweat over here. Those are the two reasons people get rid of, you know, Panamas or straw hats of any type. Um, actually, felt hats too, same thing. It's either holes here from grabbing it or sweat around here and here. Um, from just wearing it too long. Now, there are ways to avoid the sweat. You just put in one of these pads. I always talk about JJ Hat Center's accessory section. It's called Sweatband. It's $5. That will keep your hat from, uh, from ever getting sweaty. And you can technically keep your hat for life or longer, you know, pass it on to your, your grandchildren or something, you know. All right. Um, your kids, your kids' kids, it could just last and last if you don't sweat it up and you don't crack it. So that's where the more expensive Panama thing comes in. That's where it gets kind of worth it. You get more longevity, you get more softness, you get a more elegant texture and everything. Is it really worth it? I mean, you know, the classic Panama is gorgeous. It's beautiful. If you're this far away, you know, the weave is going to look the same. Um, you know, when you're really close, it might look a little bit coarser, but um, it's gorgeous. It's got all those features I just showed you. That's our lowest Panama that we go to. You know, it's made in the USA, woven in Ecuador. Got all of those cool features. It's reinforced here. It's got the sweat reinforcement there, the Teflon, the thing to keep it, you know, snapping when it doesn't snap. All those great features that even a lot of expensive hats don't have, you know, like Borsellino and Tessie. And, they just don't have the patent for those things. Uh, even Stetson, I don't think they have it. But um, those little reinforcements are important. They're good. So I'm going to say, yeah, the cheaper Panama is definitely, it's good enough. Um, if you're a Panama lover and you're really into it, go up, you know, move up. Um, it's like me, you know, a $99 guitar will will do the trick. You know, I just showed you, I had one. Um, but 
it's a much, much better experience, playing experience, when I play one of these guitars, which are, you know, look under a thousand dollars. They're like between maybe 700, 800 used, you know? So you could get them, you know, for a, a, little, a little bit more money. More money invested is a better playing experience. It's the same thing with, with hats. Um, you're gonna feel when you put it on like, oh, oh my God, this is rules, you know? And you're gonna have more fun with it. But um, it's all relative. Um, people who have never had a Panama hat will try on a classic Panama and it'll be the best thing they ever tried in their life, you know? People who've never played a real Telecaster will try this $89 Tele on and they'll say, oh my God, this is, I could play a Tele for life, I love it. But then they try, you know, a thousand dollar tele, and they're like, okay, I, I see the difference now. It feels different, and, and the tone's a little bit, you know, there's more bass, and there's more twang, and it's a little more authentic, and it's a, it's a real experience, you know. But I'm going to say the classic Panama, you know, at that 125, 135 range is a real experience. Um, there are much cheaper Panamas out there, and we kind of have a good reputation, and we kind of start at something very, very decent. So um, there's a three inch brim called a Pioneer. There's a center crease with a bubble, you know, a little bubble like that, um, called the Classic Panama. And then there's a teardrop with a slightly bigger brim called the Bogart. More nostalgic looking, more square. Square here, wider ribbon, a little bit wider. That's the Bogart. The Classic Pan Panama is less 40s, just more clean, elegant, fashionable, very clean, graceful, smooth, streamlined. The Bogart is more square and film noir, nostalgic, big wide band, you know, like, hey, I don't know, champ, tell me the scoop, scoop, you know, like 1940s guys, it's very 40s. So yeah, the Bogart, the classic Panama, I definitely give them uh, my blessing. As far as buying like a $250 Panama for half price, that's worth it. You know, when we have stuff in the back room section, um, the Panamas, it's just stuff from last year, things that are just kind of piled up, we need to get rid of. They're not bad or defective or anything like that. It's a great, great deal. Um, you can actually get a Panama for wholesale, like what we paid for it. Um, that's half price, you know. Actually less because we pay shipping and all this other stuff too. So we're actually losing money when we sell one of those at half price. So yeah, the Pissarro is really worth it. The classic Panama is so much for the money. I would say, you know, classic Panama is, is a good way to go. If you feel you're really into this and you want to just get something like really, really special, move up in price, you know. Get, get the, the Pissarro or the Capri or one of those, you know, cool uh, Caprice uh, sail hats or, or, you know, grade 8 or something a little bit better. Or if you want to go, you know, like the, the Lamborghini and the Ferrari of Panamans, go with a, a Borsellino. The Borsellino stuff, the bleached ones especially, are just exquisite. The Monte Cristi, uh, all of those. The Firenza is a little closer to this hat. It's a, it's a natural, it's flexible, but not as flexible as a bleached. But the Firenza also is very premium. It's very similar to this hat. Uh, I'm going to say like this. Um, when you spend more, you're probably going to like it a little bit more. But uh, when you start at that 125-ish, 135 range, classic Panama, the Bogart, they're gorgeous. There's nothing, nothing cheap or cheesy about it. It's like buying something awesome. So uh, maybe I haven't helped you. Maybe I did. But uh, you know, whether you buy this weave or this weave, um, some people find the coarser weaves to be more, I don't know, kind of, they have like a patina, kind of a natural earthiness about them. I mean, this hat is like 10 years old or something, so it's really beat up and sunburned and dented and stuff, but uh, it used to look a lot, a lot smoother than that. The bottom end looks a little better. These are Van bands. Our hat maker Van actually makes these bands, makes them in his little laboratory. 
they come in all colors, blue and white clouds, fireworms. I think on my pink hat I have a fireworm. Um, any color you want, even black and white, black and orange. Uh, if you want a Van Band binding or just the Van Band bands, like, like this, that's a Van Band. It's a simple modification. You just ask to have a band change. If you're buying a new hat from us, it uh, voids your refund and exchange. If you alter a hat, it's definitely yours permanently. Um, and if you send us one of your old hats, you know, obviously we could do a good job, resurrect it, change it into something fashionable. You could take your Panama, open the crown like this, put a van band here, a van band here, and it, you know, you you turn this into this, you know. Um, so doing some simple modifications can make you a real custom hat. A lot of people show me custom designs that are going to be, you know, $800 to order. Um, like the guy from, uh, what's it called? Uh, not Buck Cherry, Stone Cold Cherry. What's that? The guy who wears the open crown hat. Uh, somebody sent me that uh, the other day, uh, a picture of him. Um, it's a really cool hat with a pencil curl on an open crown. That's something you could do out of a regular Western hat with easy modifications. Open the crown, have us put a pencil curl on it, change the band. And that's way, way cheaper than going fully custom for like, you know, 800 bucks. Um, so, yeah, that's another thing. Customize your hats, you know, put a cool feather in it, change the bands. It's always cool. But uh, something about a Panama hat with a plain black band. They, that's the most elegant. There's nothing more elegant than that, really. Plus, going light here is not good because you sweat through it and it shows those clouds and stains of sweat, which is why a Panama band is always dark. So if you're going to change the band, eh, don't get light gray or something. Yeah, that's going to look good for like a week. Um, get something dark, dark blue, dark gray, dark brown, dark olive, dark navy, whatever you're getting, but... Um, Try not to go too light, like white or something. What I'd suggest is getting a clip-on white band and putting it over your original band. Wear it white for some days, take the white off. But if you're gonna do a band here, this is sweat protection. This is basically the only part that makes contact with your head. Your head does not touch here, does not touch here, only here. So when you sweat through the hat, it shows, it shows stains. So you always keep that part covered and you keep it covered with something dark and something wide. So that's my my two cents. Let's pick up that Telecaster and I'm going to see you guys out, okay?